Hey everyone, Val here, and it is time for my weekly weigh-in. So how did I do this week? We'll find out in just a minute, but first I'm going to read from my book, Happy Habits, and this is by Karen Selmanson, and the, uh, the page I'm reading for today is called Obstacles are temporary, and this is very fitting for my weekly weigh-in this week. It's uh, There's a lot of obstacles out there right now with me, uh, several obstacles, but this page is going to help us out, and I'm sure that a lot of you have obstacles out there also. Let's see how this uh, this works for us. So it's saying, when my son Ari was in third grade, his awesome teacher created a giant wall display honoring the word yet. On this wall, a bunch of sentences, each about challenges kids might face, but instead of allowing these sentences to simmer with negativity, the teacher ended each one with a word yet. For example, it doesn't make sense to me yet. I haven't succeeded yet. It doesn't work yet. I don't get it yet. So let's think about this. I haven't lost the 30 pounds I wanted to lose yet. Um, I haven't been eating really healthy yet. I'm not doing as good as I should yet. Um, all of these things, if you put that yet on the end, it just kind of makes it feel like, all right, there's hope. I haven't lost those 30 pounds. <laughs> Negative. I'm never going to lose those 30 pounds. I haven't lost those 30 pounds yet, meaning I'm still going to work on this and it's going to happen. It is going to happen. It may not be today. It may not be tomorrow. It may not even be this month. But I'm going to lose those 30 pounds. Because I'm not going to give up. This tiny yet reminds kids that struggles and obstacles are temporary. With a little effort and persistence, you can push through to better results and happier times. So what do we all think about that? Are you saying the word yet? Or are you just leaving the sentence, I'm, I just, I haven't got there. I'm, just, I'm not going to get there. Is it going to be negative? Or are we going to put a, a positive yet on the end of our sentence? Um, so it's saying, make it a habit. Pop a small but powerful word yet on the end of your negative thoughts. And you'll feel a lot better. I like it. I, I like it because it works really, really well for me this week. I weighed in yesterday i was not happy with my way in i just shook my head and i know we had we went out for a valentine dinner on friday night friday night and we had nachos and we had wrap i had a wrap i had some french fries i didn't eat the whole thing but we ate good. Yesterday I cooked a ham. Again, saltiness in the hand. Ham. I, I, don't, I don't think I ate terrible during the week, but I probably could have ate better. But it showed on the scale. It definitely showed on the scale. I didn't lose weight yet. Um, this week was not good. So I started the week at 183.2. I weighed in yesterday at 185 and it gave me a gain of 1.8 am I giving up no um, have I succeeded not yet uh, but I will succeed I am going to uh, not give up I'm gonna work on it I think a lot of it too is I ate I ate the rest of the clam chowder that's for some reason that I think the clam chowder or the seafood chowder that I made it probably not the healthiest choice, but I like it. And Steve doesn't eat seafood, so I ate a little bit throughout the week uh, until I finished the the pot that I made. I'm not gonna. It's gone. I'm not, not gonna have any more of that. But it wasn't the healthiest of lunches for me. Uh, I'm going to go back to my yogurt and berries for my lunch. 
I still have a lot of the berries left. I, I only had yogurt, I think, one time this past week, which didn't help me because that is, I'm just eating foods that are not as healthy for lunch that doesn't help the weigh-in. I'm, I'm looking outside my window behind the camera here and the bird feeder is full of birds and it's just beautiful and I'm going to try to turn you around so you can see what I'm looking at here. Let me just undo the camera from the tripod and turn you around. Let me see if you can see out the window here. Uh, all these beautiful birds, well, a couple of them flew away, but there's a, a baby woodpecker on the woodpecker block and there's a cardinal on the feeder and I need to go shut that feeder because it is raining out and uh, but there were several birds out there just a minute ago before I turned the camera around but we got two out there right now anyway um, that's the way in for this week I'm not giving up I am gonna do everything I can to make it better this week. I'm only a few weeks away now from the India trip and I do want to lose weight because I know I will probably put on a couple pounds during the trip. I do on every um, vacation that I go on. I just, you know, you eat what you eat. I'm not going to not eat it because I want to enjoy my vacation time. I will be try to be happy and healthy. Um see what the week brings so let me know how y'all are doing if you are on a fitness journey how your fitness is going are you using the word yet um, think about that when you thinking about giving up don't give up uh, keep on going just say I haven't done it yet but I am going to accomplish this it's I'm going to do it and uh, I'm going to say that in a lot of aspects in my life is I'm just going to keep pushing through it and uh, we're going to come out ahead. So, thank you all for watching. I don't have too much more to say. I've got to run to the grocery store. I will catch you all on the next video. Y'all have a great week. Leave me a comment. Let me know how you're doing. <laughs> Bye now.